I'm just going to be honest with you, folks. It's another warning in the, in the, in the, in the realities of the numbers. This is a BuzzFeed MSN article, but this is based on BuzzFeed users who went on BuzzFeed and told BuzzFeed how much debt they had based on a degree and what they're actually making. Whoa. Here we go. Going to roll through these. Uh, graduated from law school with almost 400000 in student loans. After five years of payments, my balance has increased to $500,000 due to interest. I make $70,000 pre-tax per year as a public defender. If I can survive on this low in income once I have family support, I plan on working as a public defender for 10 years, hopefully to get my loans forgiven. Folks, the government's not going to forgive your loans. It's not going to happen. They make too much money on it. When have you ever known the government to give money back? Sir, stop being a public defender. Go work for a law firm, make some big bucks, and pay the money off. Um, single mom of two children was told over and over that college was the only way out of poverty. That's a lie. Well, I went ahead and got a degree, and I still make less than $50,000 a year. I currently owe $130,000. I'll never be able to pay it off. Not true. That's why Ramsey Solutions exist. That's why we did the documentary Borrowed Future to to just beg people to stop before they go into debt. Listen, there's no excuse for her to only be making $50,000 a year. I'm about to turn, this was heartbreaking, I'm about to turn 65. I have over $100,000 I owe in student loans and regret having gone to college. My earnings are $60,000 a year. I can't afford to retire. I'll be paying student loans until I die. Now, does, I don't know how old this person was when they went to school, but it wasn't 35. But there's this prevalent lie that culture has shared with us, and we've all swallowed the pill like a bunch of mind-numb freaking zombies. And it's that if I go to college, even at 55, I'll be super successful and super wealthy. B.S. I regret going to veterinary school. Between undergrad and vet school, I have $360,000 worth of debt, and I only make $125,000. Again, it's a half narrative. Can you make really good money as a veterinarian? Yes, you can. But what's the path look like? you got to be wildly successful, and you got to know how to run a freaking business. But getting a veterinarian degree is not a guarantee. Listen to this one. I have a bachelor's degree in interdisciplinary studies because I kept changing my major. I'm $74,000 in debt. I'll likely, uh, no, no, listen. Then she goes on to say, I'm a stay-at-home mom with my kids while my husband works. I'm getting ready to start my MSW in a few months. Will likely be about $115,000 in debt by the end of it. And will probably be lucky to make $50,000 a year. I want to scream at this lady and go, Stop! Did you read what you just wrote? I'm already 74,000 in debt. I'm going to up it to 115. And I'll probably only make $50,000. Wee! Wee! I'm just going to go into debt. What are we doing? You don't need a degree to be successful. You don't need a degree to make a lot of money. You don't need a degree to get out of debt. Oh, I need some blood pressure medicine. <laughs>